ladies and gentlemen, Shamar the Watchman Bailey. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is a freestyle fighter, standing six foot one inch tall with an official weight of 170 pounds. His impressive record, 54 wins, eight losses and one draw. He fights for America top team of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Luis Sapo Santo. Your referee, Gary Copeland. All right, listen up, fighters. You both receive your instructions in the back. Expect you to listen to my commands at all time. Have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Blue? How about you, Red? Let's touch them up and prepare to fight. Here from Gary Copeland. We are set for our main event. Some late money on Shamar Bailey. He opened at plus 210, closes at plus 170. Luis Sampo Santos opened at minus 290, closes at minus 230. Michael Chevallo, Pat Militich with you. XFC 23 main event. Shamar Bailey comes bouncing out of his corner, takes an inside thigh kick, high right round kick, looks for a takedown, wisely so. But Sampo sprawls out nicely. Santos very quick with that, lead, that lead leg kick, and Bailey's Bailey hurt. is hurt. Beginning of the end here, surely Hammerfist strikes, hacking away at the orbital at the top of the head. Look at Sapo Santos raining down the elbows, hammering away, elbows and fists just drilling into the noggin here of a hapless Shamar Bailey. He's got him cut up big time. Bailey bleeding, bleeding everywhere, an absolute mess. Look at him just throw him down. He's, this is looking, he's looking for his 41st finish oh, out Bailey. of his 54. He's just being assaulted here. He has just been mugged by Sapo Santos. Blood everywhere. Santos looks at the referee and says, stop it. Gary Copeland lets it go on a little longer. Bailey just getting owned, just yeah. getting hammered, just getting pulverized, shellacked here in the main event. You have any more descriptive words for this? Yes. Holy cow. Good night, Irene. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. My word. Sapo Santos completely took apart Bailey. Very, it started like this. Very quick lead leg roundhouse and then follows up with that hook. Obviously Bailey knowing he's hurt trying to get in on the leg. Santos doing a good job of sprawling. Here it is again. Low and then boom right up high. Bap saw that left hand down. Went for the head kick get, get him hurt early and go to work. Bailey at that point, probably was so hurt he wasn't going to get that takedown anyway. His bearings were off, his balance was screwed up. And that's a, a note that Santos actually has fought. It's not recorded on his record, but in Brazil, in the tough show in Brazil, knocked out his opponent to get in the house. But there was a contract dispute between the UFC and Bellator because of the pay-per-view potential that Santos was looking at. So having the UFC and Bellator battle turns out to be the XFC's benefit. Bailey's still on the ground here. Massive cut, courtesy of that beautiful round kick from Sapo Santos that really was, oh my lord. Nasty. You talk about a money box, you could fit a roll of quarters in that cut. Yeah, that was from one of those elbows that he threw when he got down on, uh, had him down on his side. It's a gash. Good old fashioned gash over the eye. Wow, Santos really handed it to him. Okay, Cyrus Fees entered into the history books. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, two seconds in the first round, Gary Copeland stops this fight with your winner by TKO due to strikes, Luis Sapo Santo. We didn't think he'd bring the violence that quickly. Luis Sapo Santos takes the victory by absolute pounded. Gets a peck on the kisser there.